vinegar rust removal. That's what we got on the docket today. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, isn't that a swamp of beauty? Okay, so this is a vinegar. I'm using Heinz cleaning vinegar, which is 5% uh, acid. And I mixed it, uh, you know, I cut it half with water. So that makes it uh, about two and a half percent. You can use regular, just white distilled vinegar. I've seen people using cider vinegar, uh, anything. Uh, you can even use different kinds of acids, I believe, for this. But uh, that's what I picked. It's cheap. This is like about four gallons, and a total it cost me about seven dollars to make it. So that's pretty cheap. So this is the sort of stuff we're looking to clean up. All right, that's the bridge out of the south bend, and boy, it's really nasty looking. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in here, and uh, we'll come back. I also got the, uh, let's see if we can get the other piece here in there. We also got our steady rest. So we'll put that in there, and I haven't tried to take any of these bolts out yet. Probably, you know, getting some of this rust off here will help with that. So let's put this guy in there. And you don't have to worry about this stuff too much. It's This is all pretty safe stuff to get on your hands, although it does kind of tend to turn them orange. Uh, I got some gloves around here somewhere, but I don't know where I put them. Anyway, so we'll set this in there. Wayside down, boy, that's heavy. We'll come back in a few hours and see how it's doing. This one here, we're definitely going to have to flip it around a few times to get it all cleaned up. But uh, you'll be surprised the reaction you get from this stuff. It'll start bubbling up and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, well, I, I kind of messed up. I thought I had my camera on, and apparently I didn't. So anyway, this is the uh, follower rest, and there's... I've, I put citrus strip all over it now, but uh, there's a little bit of paint left on here. So we're gonna strip that that off. Here's the uh, little block that goes on there. And I wasn't sure if this was original, but I'm pretty sure it is. It says 15, 16, and 18 right there. Well, this is a 16 inch lathe. So I, I suspect maybe this is an original part that would have fit on all those different size lathes. Probably the body would be different, but this block, there's no reason for it to be different. Interesting thing, you can see somebody's uh, made a whole lot of whatever size, what is that, like a one inch eight thread or something probably. But you can kind of see where it was originally square there. So I may full round, build this back up and cast up a couple of new ones just to have around. Uh, if I was not working on that size thread, I don't think I would want, want it to look like that. Anyway, so we're using a citrus strip on here. And I put it all over these gears. And you know, all this stuff here has already been through the acid bath and come out. And there's pretty much not really any rust left on it. Uh, but it didn't look like there was any paint on it when I started. Although now I can see it's there. So I'm, I'm debating which way is the best way to go if I should do the acid, acid bath or uh, paint removal first it kind of seems like this stuff might like take off a little bit of rust but that definitely isn't really taking off very much paint uh, I don't know why we, you guys probably have a little discussion about that I'm sure there's a lot of theories one way or the other but I've I've already put it on one face of these gears so I'll flip it around put it on the other side There's no faces to put anything on there. You know, I, I like the fact that they, they cast the, the teeth count right into these gears. And uh, it looks like it was originally painted black inside of there. Probably I'll do the same thing and then I'll, I'll highlight the letters. That way, you know, with white or something like that so you can really see it. You know, especially when it gets all covered with grease and things like that over the years here, it's gonna get kind of nasty be hard to read it somebody just went through and stamped it into the face probably because they didn't see the see the numbers written into it but you can see how well the gears cleaned up i mean they were 
really bad. I'll put a uh, I'll put a card up here that shows the uh, the video where I sort of showed all this stuff. In case you guys want to go back and look and see what what we started with. And I gotta I gotta say thank you to Pierre Beaudry. He uh, he kind of gave me a shout out just the other day on uh, on his channel. And holy moly, so many new people have come over to watch the channel and subscribed. You know, and you know I want to thank all the subscribers too because I'm almost at 250 right now. A couple shy, but pretty close here. Probably, well, probably after this video uploads, I'm sure I'll probably get to 250. So that's that's good. I like to see the growth in the channel. You know, it's it's good to see that people are interested in what I'm doing. You know, you know I'm just just like most of the other people you know I, i'm just a guy that likes fixing things in my garage you know didn't think there was anything super special going on here but uh, i'm just good to, glad to see that everybody likes what's happening so thank you to all the new and old subscribers all right so when we come back we're going to take a look at those uh those parts over there in the acid bath all right but i thought you guys might like to see the kind of results you can get by using uh this acid rust removal. And this is a pair of uh, dividers. They're Sterit. It's a Zella, the Ella Sterit company made in the USA, but there's no uh, part number on this, which I think is kind of odd. It seemed to me that they always have a, you know, a model number on there. But anyway, I, I really don't know the age of these, but this stuff had so much crusty rust on it. I wasn't sure if it was worth buying it. Well, you know, at the price that you know I had to buy it of course uh i think i paid a dollar for this in fact i'm certain of that but uh anyway it just sat overnight and man they are really clean there's not a speck of rust on them you know i rubbed them down with a little bit of oil Let's see if we can get in here nice and close you can see how nice everything looks in there i don't know how well this films up up close but even the knurling got all the rust out of the knurls and they're the knurls are still sharp on this thing so i'm sure it's probably that's probably hardened part or something but so this thing working really good the screws you know it was pretty rusty it's gotten a little bit of pits on there but you know this kind of a tool it's not like that won't matter too much here so at any rate that's what you can do with uh, just a little bit of vinegar hey so if uh, you guys enjoy this kind of content and uh enjoy watching things get fixed up and put back into good work and order uh why don't you subscribe and you know i've always got some more stuff coming down the line and believe me i get plenty of projects lined up all right guys so uh the bridge and uh the steady rest have been sitting in this vinegar solution for uh, about three hours so let's have a look and see what's uh, how we've progressed get our brushes and everything ready here we're going to set it on the inside of the lid and we'll brush away on it if you can completely submerge it and let it sit for a couple of days, it probably cleans up pretty good, but uh, I like to pull it out and check it and brush off the crud that's uh, loosened up. <clears throat> you can see this thing looks pretty nasty still. But let's take, take a little, little bit of brush in here and see what, see what happens. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to take a couple of days, I would think, to clean this piece all the way up. We'll keep coming back and I'll show you the progress. Might even take longer than that because I'll have to flip it over to do the other side. And there's, I can see there's a little bit of paint left on this piece too, but <laughs> it's kind of funny when it was before it had gotten into this this stuff you couldn't really tell what was paint and what was rust it was all just chunky nasty stuff all right so i'm gonna pull out this thing here we'll uh, scrub it off and I'll, I'll dip this in there and rinse it off so we can kind of have a look and see how things are progressing
Well, it's still looking pretty bad. <laughs> But I'm hoping it'll come up better once it's uh, once it's been in there for a while. Boy, it feels really rough. Hope this stuff isn't really pitted. I hate to have to recast a whole another one of these. I think I'll get the bottom side of these waves here too. All right. Well, I doubt you guys want to watch me scrub on this thing, but. Uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like after I get done brushing on it. 